Does your spot's special too look like this? Well, wouldn't you rather it looked like this? Wow. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to go from that first unsatisfying special two to that beautiful special two knockout. Now, Spot is a bit of an interesting champion. He's very quirky, he has a lot of very interesting things going on. He's very, very powerful, especially when he's maximized. And today, I'm gonna be showing you how you can maximize this man's signature ability. Now, I'm gonna show you four different Spot special twos here, and you're gonna see a difference between four different play styles. Same defender, Realm of Legends Winter Soldier, no synergies, no boosts going on here between the different fights, and as you can see, the two on the bottom very much so outperformed the two on the top. And as you can see, the one in the bottom left has about 20 hits less in his combo meter, and he did significantly more damage than the one right above him. So today we're going to take a bit of a deep dive into why that is. So spot stick ability has two parts to it. And very often, I see people talking about the bottom part. While untouchable, attacks that strike the opponent while they are performing a heavy attack or recovering from a special attack grant own a Fury passive, increasing attack rating by 2,000 for 7 seconds. Now that's great, don't get me wrong, and you should certainly strive to go for that Fury passive. In fact, if you have a spot of your own, you've probably ramped up here before, right? Getting 50 spots in your rupture bank, right? Activating untouchable, uh, letting it fall off, letting it go again, right? Maybe going for a special one in between so you can have this beautiful 50, 50 of these, the, these ruptures in your bank. You're going for that fury special too. Now, don't get me wrong. That took off 70% of Winter Soldier's health. That is certainly quite nice. That is a great rotation. That's really all you're going to ever need here. This took about 60 seconds. Not too bad. So that is the fury part of the sick ability, right? And that is a big, big step up. This is what spot would look like fully ramped unduped right right here no fury no nothing here's a special two at 50 of his ruptures in the bank not bad took off about 60 percent in 50 hits in about 60 seconds that's really not too bad but what i'm going to be showing you today is how to maximize the top part of the sig ability after a portal block ends each hit of spots next successful light heavy or special attack, not medium, not medium, deals an instant rupture, dealing physical damage for each spot gained during the portal block. Each hit of his next special attack. Do you see where I'm going with this? So I'm gonna show you a different fight now. Now keep in mind, right, we ramped all the way up to 50 rupture bank. We activated untouchable, we threw a special one, we activated untouchable again, we went crazy tapping the screen, we threw the special two, right? We got him down to about 40% if he was unduped and 30% with the fury. That's great. Now I'm gonna show you how to take advantage of his sig ability. Let's say you sigged up your spot, right? I'm gonna show you something. Now Winter Soldier is the the best champion to do this on, to practice this on, because he has this long special two. Now this could work for Mangog special two. This could work for a combo into the black, into the block, right? But watch what we do here, okay? I'm going to push Winter Soldier close to three bars of power. I'm gonna bait out the special two. Watch the spots, okay? The spots are gonna go from two all the way up to nine. I gained nine spots. Trigger untouchable, medium, medium. I'm going for the mediums. I'm gonna counter this with the medium again. And this special two with absolutely no ramp is going to do more damage than the full ramp on the two previous special twos all the way down to 24% health. We did zero ramp, 45 seconds by the way. Less time, less ramp, more damage. Of course, if you want to do your full ramp, right? Of course, we'll do our untouchable, we'll do our thing, push this guy up to the special two, close to the special three, the exact same thing. We're literally at two spots, the exact same thing. Bait out the special two from this guy, right? Here we go. We gained seven spots, right? Now we're gonna trigger untouchable. We're gonna go medium, medium. This guy has the worst AI in the entire game, not throwing his special one. Just in time, we counter it. And the special two is doing 102,000 per every hit. So that was over 400,000 on the special two, right? 
So that, my friends, is how you maximize Spot's signature ability, both sides of it, because yes, the fury is great, but the top part of the sig ability here is the part that I don't see people taking advantage of the most. Now, when I see a friend of mine, you know, playing with Spot, I notice they're not doing this. Sometimes I'll PM them and be like, hey, do you know Spot could do this? Well, guess what? Now you do. It's very, very powerful. It isn't always the easiest thing to pull off. However, it is easier than it may seem because you don't need that multi-hit special attack for it to work. Just yesterday, right, I uploaded this thing fight from battlegrounds and what happens right here we bait out a special one and yes the node is making our damage a little bit higher but it really did it five hit combo directly into the block we're going to trigger untouchable medium 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 and that special two is going to nuke why because we had five spots built up before we activated untouchable and we went medium medium every time so we would keep that little instant rupture in the bank so we could explode it on every single part of the special two so this is how you want to maximize spots stick ability now listen sometimes the ai is not going to let you do it it's going to go for the medium heavy medium heavy the most you can get is one of those little spots to keep in your bank but even if you have one let me ask you a question is one more than zero i'm pretty sure it is but i'm not like 100 percent sure maybe check on that first before you like commit to this but if one or two happens to be more than zero that's gonna help you maximize the damage that you get out of spot special two which at the end of the day is the special attack that you want to nuke the defender with to end fights as fast as possible so as you can see when you can take advantage of this you will notice that you are going to finish fights faster and do more damage than if you ramped all the way up without it, right? The bottom left is the most efficient fight here, in my opinion, because we didn't do any ramping, we went right to special two, and we had a jolly good time. That's it for this video today. I hope you learned a little something about Spot. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if you knew this about Spot, and let me know if you've been doing this with Spot. And if not, let me know if you're gonna start doing it. And if you haven't been, I suggest that you do and you put some time in to practice it. And believe it or not, Winter Soldier is a great place to practice it. One of the only good things to practice against Winter Soldier in the entire game. That's it for this one. I'll be seeing you around. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button for more videos like this and all that fun stuff. I'll be seeing you around.